Uh, Luigi asked, the issue of trust between humans and autonomous systems is not a new one. What sort of features or AI interactions might increase trust in both directions? Well, it's a very good question, and I really don't know the answer. What would increase our trust? Uh, I wrote a short story in order to get going on this novel, a sort of five-finger exercise, and it's written from far in the future, looking back um, when artificial humans had become so stitched into life, uh, and they served on juries, and they uh, served in the military, they had rights and responsibilities, and, and uh, gradually uh, we went back to 19th century anti-slavery laws using much of that language in order to say you cannot own such a person. Uh, I mean, owning another human being is, is I think, a, a bad in itself. Mm -hmm. And then it became non, very non-PC to ask someone, but you're sitting at dinner with some strangers, to say, are you real? It would be extremely rude. Um, and my narrator in that short story had, had lived that transition. Mm -hmm. um, that it would be just as intrusive as if you were to say at dinner loudly, I hear you've got a colostomy bag. Um, bad luck. Um, <laughs> to say of someone, are you real, mm. is sort of physically intrusive because you've already accepted that they're conscious. So what should it matter? Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, it starts with a, a man who's, uh, who, who's with his girlfriend, they're making love, and he, ha he feels he has to ask her. Uh, and the story really is all about her answer. Um, and I, I think, to, uh, coming back to this question, that would then be, once we'd passed that point, of ev not even wanting, let alone daring, to ask, hmm. then we would have reached the point of total trust. Oh, interesting. That would be the, the meeting point. 